Who hijacked my religion? No, but seriously! Who hijacked my religion? I'm gonna turn on the TV and I see this guy explaining Islam. But he's talking nonsense! I'm like, what religion is this guy talking about? Not only does he have no idea what he's saying, but he's not even Muslim! It's like getting a Hindu guy to teach Christianity. Seriously, where do they get these characters from? It's even funnier how they give the title of expert. <laughs> Just because you wrote a book about Muslims doesn't make you an expert. And don't get me wrong, it's not just non-Muslims. They even throw confused Muslims on TV. Somehow they keep finding these people who have little or no knowledge of the religion. They show them screaming nonsense and talking all crazy, talking about killing and murdering, instead of basing their actions on Islam. You hear all kinds of crazy stuff. Like these speeches are pushing people towards their nationalistic movements. There's no nationalism in Islam. There's no nationalism in Islam. And I'm sitting there thinking, of all the Muslims they can put on TV, they put these people on? Come on, man. I don't recognize this religion they're talking about as being Islam. It's like they're practicing a totally different religion. Somehow they keep giving the limelight to these extremists. Coincidence? I don't think so. This is how they build public opinion on a group of people. So people end up hating Muslims. But their hatred is based on ignorance. People aren't born racist. Prejudice is something that is learned. They don't necessarily come out and say Muslims are terrorists. But they'll do everything else so you come up with that opinion. Look at all this mumbo jumbo they put in the movies. You see in the movie they can lie as much as they want because they can use the excuse It's only a movie! But do you ever notice that all the bad guys in the movies these days are Muslims? And the actors who play their role, they don't even do their homework. Sometimes they show the Muslim praying and in the middle of this prayer, he answers the phone. Or in the middle of this prayer, he'll talk to somebody. Joke! Sometimes they have the Muslim character sleeping with one of the women in the movie. Double joke! Who writes this stuff? And how come every time they show the main bad guy acting evil, they're playing the Adhan in the background? Hello, the Adhan is a call for prayer. Coincidence? I don't think so. They take a peaceful religion and they try to associate violence to it. No wonder the masses are confused about Islam. People are often scared of things they don't understand. And don't think we're the first people who are victims of this propaganda. Do you remember the way the Japanese were treated during World War II? Or the way African Americans were treated during the Civil Rights Movement? You get the picture. History continues to repeat itself. And the way that stereotype is built is done in a very sneaky, sneaky way. You flip on the TV and you see images of black people stealing. I guess they assume if you see it enough times, you'll start believing that all black people steal. Or all Hispanic people cross the border so they can steal your jobs. Or all white people are trash. Or women are inferior to men. And the false list of stereotypes goes on and on. These tactics are nothing new. It's the same tricks over and over again. But this time, they're building the stereotype of the Muslims. They're trying to associate the word Muslim with the word terrorist. But the word Muslim terrorist is an oxymoron. You know that's when you put two words next to each other that have opposite meanings? It's like saying definite, maybe. Or that's a loud silence. Same difference. Exact estimate. You get the picture. The word Muslim terrorist doesn't even make sense. The word Muslim means one who submits to God. The word terrorist means one who spreads terror. So how could one who submits to God spread terror? It doesn't make sense. How come when a Muslim commits a crime, he is immediately associated with his religion? But if anyone from another religion commits a crime, their religion is never even mentioned. They take verses from the Quran out of context to serve their own purpose. Think not that I have come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace but a sword. Does that sound violent to you? Does that sound something that you can take out of context? We don't know the sentence before that or the sentence after it. Oh, that's not from the Quran. That's actually from the Bible. Matthew 10, 34. You see, you can pull that trick with any religion. Do you know what I'm saying? I live in a country where the majority of the people are Christian. But you won't hear the term Christian terrorist if a Christian commits a crime. This is because it's common knowledge that Christianity does not teach terrorism. But since the average person lacks the knowledge of other religions, they are easily fooled to believe what is told to them. They're the ones who base their opinion based on what they see on TV. And if you repeat a lie enough times, people take it as truth. Just imagine if the TV was your teacher. You probably think Islam is a religion of fanatics. That Muslims have no connection with reason or rationality. But in reality, that's the exact opposite. When you study Islam, you see that it encourages thought. It advises man to think and reflect. It promotes peace and tranquility. But there are people who are out there who do action that Islam forbids in the name of Islam. Abusing this beautiful religion to promote their own agenda. And the media loves these type of people. So anytime they find any of these bad apples, which is usually people who don't understand Islam, 
They wait till they get all emotional and they throw them on TV. Ratings, baby! Ratings! They don't care about the truth. The only thing they care about is the numbers. They just want to boost their ratings. Increase their audience. So they can raise the price of their commercials and make the money. If we Muslims only practice Islam the way it's supposed to be practiced, these people wouldn't have any footage to play with. You see, you can't judge an entire religion based on the actions of a few. I don't judge Christianity based on the Christian fundamentalists who blow up abortion clinics. By the way, what kind of pro-life message are you sending by blowing up innocent people? Let's clear up all the confusion and make it really simple. A religion should not be judged by its misguided followers. A religion should be judged by its teachings. Here's a thought. How about putting a practicing Muslim on TV who knows what he's talking about? Have him explain Islam to the masses. If you're really interested in seeing what Islam teaches, go to your local Islamic center. What you hear might surprise you. It's very different than what you see on TV or read in the newspaper. Yeah, a bunch of people are trying to hijack my religion and I want it back. Remember, so many of the early enemies of Islam ended up becoming Muslim when they saw Islam practiced correctly. Do you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it doesn't make a difference what the media shows or what the newspapers say. But a lot of people judge action, not words. And if you're a good Muslim, inshallah, people will not want to be like you. So it's up to us to be good examples, inshallah. And the only way we can do that is to practice Islam properly. Do you know what I'm saying? This is Ali reminding you just in case you forgot. This is Ali reminding you just in case you forgot. We have to show Islam by example.